Hi, my name is Flossie, and this is my 1999 Ford E350 Step Van, my tiny home on wheels. Dive, and I'll be using my pole spear for the first time. Full of mushrooms. I just cannot believe that. That's <laughs> I got a really great shot of you missing that one. I know! <laughs> That's amazing! Not bad for my very first go. It is moonshine that has had a life changing conversation with a hot pepper. <laughs> I am on my way to meet up with a friend and dive and I will be using my pole spear for the first time. I recently went to a diving shop and checked out a spear gun and a pole spear because I would like to supplement my diet with a little fish and I am mostly vegetarian and I generally try not to buy any meat products from the supermarket because quite often those things are farmed or there's some ethical sustainability things which I have feelings about. So to catch my own fish I am selectively harvesting with zero bycatch something that I can consume the entirety of and respect its life and the process and have built up the knowledge to do so. So I went into the shop and I tried a spear gun because a lot of people do spear fishing and I struggle with the feeling of holding the gun part of it and the second part of it was I don't have the arm strength to pull the rubber bands. Like I'm sure I really would if I tried, but it would, in, uh, I did try in the store, but the elastics are really stiff. And the guy was very sweet and he said he could exchange them for like softer elastics. But the whole combination of those two things, I was like, this just doesn't feel right. And maybe that will change. That might not be the same for me in, two years time uh, if I'm living more remotely and I need uh, to have a more s uh, reliable and sustainable diet there might be a need that I can harvest a fish from a further distance which is where the the uh, spear gun has an advantage of a pole spear the pole spear itself just felt more it almost felt more prehistoric. It felt more uh, rustic or what is the word? Um, primal. Primal, like historical. It has that vibes of it's a spear. Now the difference is with a, a gun, you can line it up with your eye. And so you can get an aim via line of sight with a pole. It's very difficult to hold it up and look down it. So the guy in the shop was very kind and supportive and he said often people find pole spears more frustrating to learn and harder to get the hang of because aiming the thing is a lot harder because you have to aim from here looking at where the pole's going to go and it's a different a different technique. And he said he thinks that people incorrectly say that you should learn to pole spear before you spear a gun and it's like a stepping stone but I think they are two completely different things and the way that you aim and and use one uh, different techniques I say this based on what he told me because I have not used either in the water yet however I now have a pole spear and I'm really excited about learning to use it 
and today's dive is my first time giving it a go. I have checked my fishing license, I have brushed up on the opens and closures in the area that I'm currently in by checking the uh, Recreational Fish Fisheries website, checking the limits. So I have all of that knowledge up in here um, and I've checked, just made sure that I'm like, okay, this is called this on the website and that looks like this. So I've just made sure that I am looking at the right fish. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be respectful, I want to be caring to the environment, I want to make sure that I know exactly what I'm looking at when I'm underwater. So yeah, I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm glad I'm going with somebody, and I'm prepared to come back with nothing, and for that to be completely okay. We shall see. So big. Hi. Hi. I think this is just the elder cedar. <laughs> I think so. It's pretty big. These things? These teeny know the bigger oh pine oh. cones duh. <laughs> it just shoot at a pine cone. Feel how much the wind is blowing. Maybe the breeze did pick up. Those branches are so big. Do you wanna go like stand with your arms out so we can see actually how wide it is? I'm like a dude with a fish. <laughs> Except it's a tree. What is this unit of measurement? Are they being friends with these? They're probably protecting them from the deer though. There's a huckleberry. Because the deer will come and munch, munch, munch it. So big. <laughs> there was a fire here, obviously. It's all burned. That's why I guess the sentry's gone. Yeah. I mean, it is not like the forest to be like, I, p I take, I take your taxes for your jokes. I think that's a milky. It looks like it. Forest tax recovered. The second 40s you got lost and it's not happening. Not, it's not happening again. There we go. <laughs> Woo! I knew we would find mushrooms. Holy <laughs> shit, come! There's more on the other side. Oh! <gasps> what? <laughs> I I knew we would find mushrooms. There's so many. These are 
No, these are oyster mushrooms. Good Real good eating and huge. So I still have this. But this is gonna be not nearly big enough. Um, I could take my shirt off. Oh yeah, probably. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Like, that's amazing. That's oh, you got bit by a spider? Or there's nettle over there. Oh, yeah. We probably got nettled. Probably. Yeah, it's red now. Is this nettled here? Is this nettled? Yeah, that's nettled. Yeah, I got that. You got nettled. Oh, wow. shit, babe. That's the first time in my life. Really? Yeah. Is it bad? No. It'll disappear in about three Five or hours. Six days. No, three hours. Cool. Yeah, it's lively. It's beer and mushroom time. Whoa, so. that is lively though. That's why I fucking put my socks in my pants. It, it, it oh yeah, stop itching. You. Yeah, if you want, I can spit on it. You can pee on it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? There's so many. Yeah, this is a haul. I mean, there's a reason we took this path. Yeah, there is. Fucking stinging nettle, man. Yeah, you stung yourself yeah, right you're... into it. Yeah, you're... Yeah. But like, all of these... Whoa! A prime. Like, look at this. Look at these! Wow. Can you slap me with it? Is that bad? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Now you're dirty. Woo! <laughs> That's mushrooms. That a wet little slap. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, we won't take all of them because... Leave some to re spore your, your hat gift and my full of mushrooms. I just cannot believe that. That's what we're leaving behind. <laughs> oh, you have a fly in yours. A what? A little fly. Oh no! That's extra okay. extra, extra protein. Cheers. Thanks, Simon. Wow. Look, there's just so many of them. And look how big they are. Wow, that's crazy. This is like that's even a bigger than I, what I found when I was in Washington. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. All right. Pretty special to have found this in the forest. What a gift. We are gonna clean them. These are oyster mushrooms, spring oyster mushrooms. So they need cleaning moving the forest and then we will prepare them for dinner tonight i feel very excited to have this yeah it's gonna be so good thanks for helping oh yeah my pleasure yeah everything just aligned today so i guess you should film maybe you showing me how to process a mushroom yeah okay so we have these knives which are freaking great yeah it's very cool look at this i have given this one to Haley. wow what an honor and this beautiful brush is kind of like stiff horsehair brush yeah, bristles. Really so it's yeah. I'm gonna put the pretty... blade away for that part. <laughs> Safety first. And we're just gonna clean them so that we don't end up eating half the forest. It's kind of meditative. Yeah, this is fun. Do yeah. we want to put the clean ones just in the bucket of water? I think so. So if we I'll we'll take that out and then we can rinse them. It's really nice to have somebody to do this with, I not know. be doing it by myself. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, the boys would do it too, but it's nice just to like be able to do this. I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna lie and pretend like I do this all the time. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a crab. I want to get in the ocean tomorrow. Yeah, I know, right? It's beautiful. We're doing great, Bo. Look at our friends. Woo! Dogs. Happy dogs. <laughs> Happy dogs, men on boats. Really?
probably just let you do it. <laughs> Thank you, mushrooms, for it's being really amazing. Beautiful. You can grow mushrooms and also make prosecco. <laughs> prosecco and mushrooms existing in the same place. Oh, so oh bright. Oh my god. That looks beautiful. Look at this pretty food. Okay, now I'm going to send this light off because it's obnoxious. No, it's actually it's helpful. It's easier to see what's going on because it's really hard. And you know what? This what does the oven do? vegetables look like? Um, they're chilling. They can yeah. use like another 10 minutes for sure. I don't Perfect know, I timing. Wow. We were like master chef levels cooking. When you found out. Wow. Just one stick. Um, Pickled onion. Chalet oil. Take this. Asparagus. Brussels sprouts. Mm. Mushrooms are so good. Holy shit. These mm -hmm. mushrooms are amazing. I'm so grateful to the forest. I'm so yeah. grateful we took the route we did. We just. Everything worked out. That's funny. Mm -hmm. um, narrow wood and uh, we took the road less traveled in one hey simon do you mean these or the <laughs> nathan look at nathan's setup nathan show us the whole <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah, and you like this? This is my uh, my belt strap. Nice. I love it. From my bag. I can't believe no one's criticizing I... my dive attire. Uh, oh. terrible dive attire. How do you like the new uh, uh, fastest beer can in the West? <laughs> it's nice and shiny. Looks awesome. You give it a good polish. Yeah, he, uh, it's amazing How? what a five gallon pail of green stripper will do. <laughs> and not too many holes? A few. But uh, I have a welder, so. Perfect. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nope. It's really good diving in places that have high water exchange because the visibility is better. I was diving in Victoria the other week and it's like the first 10 feet is kind of yellow and then under that the visibility clears up so hopefully it's better here. Going to the, we're going to the uh, beach on, uh, is that? Fuck up. Fuck up. All right, Flossie, was the first dive? It was okay. Okay, not the best. But today we're, we're going to our second dive. Hopefully more life, less sand. More, more better. Yeah. 
drop off. You got your pants on there, Trudeau? Let's go. sucker for punishment and am excited to go for dive round two today at a different spot. I am also a sucker for punishment and I'm gonna enjoy just sitting at the bottom and watching you swing down at me. Okay. All right, Flossie, let's I go. I a rockfish. All right, <gasps> we're gonna eat well. Let's go! I got a really great shot of you missing that one. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. It's been a good day. And I can tell that I'm starting to get tired. Yeah. And like my breath holds are slightly shorter. Yeah, right? definitely. Oh, yeah, I think the current's picking up too much. Yeah, let's start. Strong current. I'm going to paddle as hard as I can to get back <laughs> to the boat.
to a success. That was a lot of fun, a great experience and a lot of learning and yeah. Well, it's not a feast, but you know, you did okay. <laughs> <laughs> so stoked to have actually used the spear for what it's supposed to and uh, I have some fish to take home with me. That is really neat and I'll continue to do this and I'll get better at it. So we put a little bit of the fish guts in this kid's crab trap because he was trying to catch crabs with no bait. So when he comes back in the morning... He... Sure that there'll be no crabs in it. They may or may not be crabs. <laughs> it might screw up his whole schedule. <laughs> but there might be fish heads inside the bait bag. Yeah. And he might have caught something. Who knows? Who but knows? we're giving him a, a hopefully... Cross your fingers for this kid. We will never know. Hi. Hey. Sailor Barry, tell us what you're doing. Uh, I'm doing, I think, one of the coolest epoxy pours that you can do on the internet. Um, it is experimental. Yeah. So I have five gallons of pine tar right here. This is just Ooh. raw industrial waste. It's not like the fancy pine tar stuff that you buy that's kind of thinned out and whatever. This stuff's like sludge. And... <laughs> What I've done is I've mixed 50% uh, West Systems Epoxy with 50% Pine Tar and the result is that it eventually goes completely hard but it stays a little bit rubbery which is actually kind of what you want on deck scenes because yeah. this wood is going to contract and expand and I want it to live with it a bit so I actually made this a slightly Pine Tar heavier so it's maybe 60-40. So yeah. I wanted to tell you, okay. I got a pole spear and today I went out for a dive with Simon and I speared my first fish. Oh, really? That's yeah. Amazing. I almost said a swear word. But, <laughs> but so I was like, like really proud of myself that I didn't come out empty handed. Hell yeah. I practiced a lot. And That's, it's I'm, a pole so spear jealous. is harder to shoot than a gun. Yeah. Because a gun you can kind of line up with your eyesight, right? Yeah. A pole you're like. It's very like random and subjective. Yeah. Yeah. Like you wherever you point arm. it. Yeah. I have. But I think it's hilarious to a pole spear somewhere. Yeah. Someone gave me one off the docks since you were here. You probably gotta make one and yeah. then give it to Hilly. And then she can get some fish. Oh yeah. I'm excited. I am really excited to prepare my poorly filleted, completely butchered pieces of fish. Oh dear. I had an absolute blast and I learned a lot. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh! The joy of doing this myself, from start to finish, my own meal. That's amazing. Not bad for my very first go. Yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could do a talk a bit for your video if you want. <laughs> what do we have here? So. I made a moonshine a while ago and then I broke it up and put a bunch of mason jars of moonshine with hot peppers in them mm -hmm. and then I forgot about them. Oh. And then those hot peppers really infested that moonshine for about three to four months. All right. Awesome. Red juice. Cheers. Cheers. It's like it has a it is, it is moonshine that has had a life changing conversation with a hot pepper. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good, but it's not like it's not gonna blow my head no, off. No, 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 it's not. But like, it's got that. It's, but all the flavor notes are there. The heat and yeah. that by the time I get to the bottom of this beverage, yeah, the heat has gone from here to here. Yeah. That's probably what's. And I just happen. like you know when you have. Mm. I just put garlic salt, 
Yeah. Um, the fancy Madrone salt flakes. Oh, that's what it is. I was like, there's some flakes in there. Yep, and some nice, like, cracked pepper. Nice. Mm. Mm, cooked it. Nice and light. Cooked it. Mm.